Students in many West Michigan counties will no longer be subject to mandatory quarantine, even if they've come in close contact with a COVID positive person. State law no longer requires student quarantine, meaning it is now up to local health departments. Kent, Ottawa, Muskegon and Ionia counties announced Friday they would not immediately be issuing close contact orders. Previously, the state suggested students quarantine if they were within six feet for 15 minutes or more of someone who tested positive. That decision will now be up to each individual school district. And that issue of mandatory quarantine has been a frustrating one for some West Michigan parents. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham is live in Kentwood with a closer look at one parent's concerns. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Meredith. Yes, first of all, at the heart of this issue is a recommendation made by the Kent County Health Department a few months ago. Now, I spoke with a mom whose daughter is a straight A student athlete, except when she's forced to do remote learning. Sadly, that's exactly what's happened for the past two weeks, and they say they never got a good explanation. Why? You can't get me to understand it because no, it doesn't make sense to anyone. Confusion. It's very confusing. And frustration. He said he got his ruler out and they weren't six feet apart. And I said, why weren't they six feet apart? Those are the words Kentwood mom Sherry Sims uses to describe the COVID-19 protocols at her daughter's KPS middle school. She's missed out on two weeks worth of track meet. Sims's eighth grade daughter, Briasia, was sent home from Crestwood on April 29th after a classmate tested COVID-19 positive. Everyone should be six feet apart. Sims says she immediately contacted the principal, certain a mistake had been made. If you're six feet apart, you won't contract the virus. But Sam says that was the first time she'd heard students were sitting closer than that. He said it is protocol that we keep the kids anywhere between three and six feet apart. But if they were under six feet apart, they have to go home if someone near them was exposed. I think that's unfair. The district says its policy was based on how the Kent County Health Department defined close contact. The problem is the health department did not recommend quarantining students in K through eighth grade classroom settings unless the kids were within three feet for 15 minutes or longer. And if the three feet is adequate, then she should be at school. But according to the district's executive director for human resources, they didn't have the latest recommendations until after I reached out with Sims's concerns. When you do all you can to make sure everyone around you is safe, I feel like it's the school's job to do their part. Sims says she realizes the district tries to do what's best for all students, but says, "With track, I gotta get ready for next year. She's really a good kid. Briasia's needs, she loves her teachers, and she loves being in school, should have been considered as well. I just want them to do better. So yeah, I spoke with the district official again who said after they confirmed that three feet recommendation with the health department, they started using that as a benchmark last week for quarantining students. Unfortunately, it did not help Brasia Sims, who was never called to return to school. It is unclear at this hour what the district will use in terms of policy now that the, year, the rules have changed again. Back to you. Mm.